case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1969, the Supreme Court of the United States heard a case, National Labor Relations Board v. Wyman Gordon Company, that revolved around the legality of the NLRB requiring companies to provide evidence, such as employee lists, for union election purposes. The International Brotherhood of Boilermakers requested an election among a company's production and maintenance employees. Despite the NLRB's order to provide a list of employee names and addresses, the company refused to comply. The case moved through the courts, with the district court upholding the NLRB's order. However, the Court of Appeals reversed the decision, citing the Administrative Procedure Act's requirements for rules. The Supreme Court then granted certiorari to resolve the conflict. Ultimately, the Supreme Court ruled that the NLRB had the authority to subpoena lists deemed evidence under Section 11 of the National Labor Relations Act. All U.S. Courts of Appeals also upheld this disclosure requirement. The Supreme Court reversed the Court of Appeals' judgment and returned the case to the District Court to reinstate its original judgment, reinforcing the NLRB's power to require evidence for union election purposes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.